Geologists have discovered a magma layer in Yellowstone National Park that may play a key role in preventing major eruptions in one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. The layer is made of liquid silicate material and supercritical water, a liquid-like gas that forms when water exceeds its critical temperature of 374 degrees Celsius and porous rock. The layer lies about 2.4 miles below Earth's surface and essentially acts as a lid, trapping pressure and heat beneath it, according to the research team that discovered it. The scientists discovered the layer using a 53,000-pound vibrosesis truck, a device that injects low-frequency vibrations into the Earth to study the geology of a volcanic system. By generating small earthquakes that send seismic waves into the ground, the researchers can measure how those waves bounce off the surface. The scientists were surprised to see something physical happening at such depths. Brandon Schmant, a professor of Earth Environmental and Planetary Sciences at Rice University and one of the study's authors, said in a statement, The stability of a hazardous volcanic system is strongly influenced by the depth of its uppermost magma reservoir, the researchers said. We've known for decades that there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper boundary have been a big question, Schmant said. In 2022, researchers discovered that the Yellowstone supervolcano has a much larger magma reservoir beneath its caldera than previously thought. Lava is also flowing at shallow depths, which has fueled previous eruptions. Through modeling, the researchers determined that the magma layer is composed of molten silicate material and bubbles of supercritical water within porous rock. Bubbles form as magma rises and decompresses, causing gases such as water and carbon dioxide to escape from the melt. A volcanic eruption can then occur as the bubbles collect and their buoyancy increases, triggering an explosion. However, an eruption at Yellowstone is unlikely in the near future, the researchers said. Data from seismic imaging and advanced computer modeling suggest that the magma reservoir is actively releasing gas and remains stable. The system is described by Schmont as steady breathing, with bubbles rising and escaping through the porous rock of the magma layer. Although we detected a volatile rich layer, the bubble and melt content was below levels typically associated with an imminent eruption, Schmant said. Instead, it appears that the system is efficiently venting gas through cracks and channels between mineral crystals. Yellowstone's complex geology has proven to be a challenging environment to capture data in, the researchers said. The scattering of seismic waves produces noisy data that is difficult to interpret. When you see noisy, challenging data, don't give up said Chen Long Duan, one of the study's authors. Geologists have captured one of the first super clear images of the top of the magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone caldera using structural seismic imaging, said Duan, who developed the technique. The discovery could provide clues about future activity amid Yellowstone's vast volcanic system, the researchers said. There is now growing evidence that there is a magma reservoir in the Earth's crust, just beneath the northeastern part of the Yellowstone caldera. But how deep that reservoir is, and how much magma it holds, is still a matter of debate, making it difficult to predict when the supervolcano will erupt again. Schmant's lead author, Chen Long Duan, developed a new method to image the crust in the Yellowstone region. 
The technique relies on sending seismic waves, similar to small earthquakes, into the ground from a vibrating truck to see how they move through layers of rock. As these waves bounce back to the surface, they are collected by hundreds of seismometers. Working with geophysicist Jamie Farrell of the University of Utah, the team developed an algorithm that reads all this noisy data to create a model of the crust. The scientists interpret this boundary as the top of a very clear magma reservoir. According to Schmont and his colleagues' best fit model, half of this magma layer is occupied by bubbles of volatile material. This layer can be considered self-sealed because it is only slightly porous. This means that this layer releases small amounts of trace gases so that the overall pressure beneath it remains constant. 